All right, Pops, it's about time we relaunched this. The Car Edge Deal Data and Dealer Reviews Crowdsourced Edition is back on Car Edge. Dot com. This was something that we had actually launched in April of 2022. Yes. And about 2,000 people submitted car dealer reviews. We got overwhelmed. Like, truly, I programmed it, which is a terrible situation when I'm doing the program. We got overwhelmed. But Pops, I'm, like, I'm proud and excited to say we've relaunched it. And we need everyone who's bought a car recently, like, I don't know, in the past year or so, go submit your deal data. Because, Dad, we're yes. going to make it free for everyone to see that information so that they can get help knowing a good dealership, a bad dealership, and what price to pay. That I, which I think is a great idea, and I and, and I remember seeing a uh, an email from one of our viewers, uh, a, a good friend of the uh, of the show, and um, and John said, "Well, why are you putting the onus on us? You should provide us with a list of the good dealers with good deals and a list of the bad dealers with the bad deals." Well, the best way for us to get em- that information is to crowdsource <laughs> it from our community. So in a, in a sense, we're putting the onus on you, the community members, to provide us with the data that we can then collect and share with everyone moving forward. So initially, the onus will be on you, the good folks out there, and then the onus will fall on the, the good folks here at Car Edge who will gather that information, put it in a format that will be easily usable by those who are looking to find a good dealer in their area. So look at this, Dad. So one of the questions we ask on the form is how satisfied were you with the dealership? One yes. to five score. And you're able to come in here and you're able to see, you know, someone was somewhat satisfied while many others were extremely satisfied. You're, the questions we ask, let's, let's run through the form together, Dad. Okay. Let's, let's just run through it. If yeah. you bought a new car, going to ask you when you purchased the vehicle. Yes. Right, so let's say we purchased it recently. What model year the vehicle was, what make the vehicle was. Let's say we got a Chrysler P- PT Cruiser. I don't think so, honey. Edition. <laughs> but you get, you get the gist of it, Dad. You yes. can choose the vehicle that you purchased. You can enter the VIN if you have it. You don't have to. Your out-the-door price. So what did you pay out the door? What is the vehicle's MSRP if you have it for that new one? And then you need to tell us what zip code uh, you bought it from, which, wh- where the dealership is. And, and, and for the out-the-door price, that would be when you look at your buyer's order and you see what the total price is, including all fees, taxes, and registrations. Um, that's the out-the-door price we want to know. So we can see that in comparison to what the uh, MSRP was. For a used car, we're obviously not asking you what the MSRP was, but we still need that out the door. Then, Dad, after you've put your zip code in, you're going to be able to choose which dealership you purchased the vehicle from. What was the name of the salesperson? If you remember the salesperson you worked with, what was their dock fee? For those new cars, did they sell it to you at MSRP, above it or below it? Did they require that you purchase accessories? If they did, please tell us what accessories they required you to purchase and how much they charged you. How satisfied were you? If you have deal documents, you want to upload, please redact your information before you upload them. Any other comments you'd like to share? And then, Pops, if you had a trade-in. This is super interesting because, you know, trade-in valuations, it's this black box. We have no clue how values get calculated. We try and help folks, but if you had a trade-in, it's the same thing as before. You get to choose which vehicle you traded in, and we're going to ask you, you know, what what was your uh, trade-in amount? How Mm -hmm. much did you actually receive? That data should be hugely valuable for other folks who are thinking about selling selling their car. And and all of this information once gathered and and, and uh, put together in a format that's highly usable by the members of our community uh, should make it that much easier for you to be able to figure out what dealer you want to try and do business with based on real honest to goodness experiences that customers have recently had with them. And then ultimately, we can we can look at this data, I would suppose, and start to figure out which dealers we want to approach to see if they would like to be Car Edge preferred dealers, and we yep. would be able to tell that based on on how consumers have scored their their interactions with these particular dealerships. Exactly, Dad. I feel like when we launched this a year ago, we were on the cusp of doing one of the best things we could have ever done with Car Edge and we simply got overwhelmed. And this year I'm proud and excited to say we've got the resources behind it. We have the focus to make sure that we can actually deliver on this. And I really hope 
I'm saying this somewhat tongue in cheek, but I hope that so many people go to submit the form that it actually does break again, but then we fix it immediately. Okay, <laughs> damn it. We're going to fix it immediately. I really do want to see thousands of people share this information because if you've been if you've been following us, if you've been a part of our community for the past three years, you know the last thing we're going to do is gatekeep this information. No, the whole point is breaking down information asymmetry. If you contribute to this, we're going to contribute it right back out. We're going to help people find the right dealers, find the vehicle at the right price, and break down all of those barriers that, that currently exist. This is something that we should have done earlier, Dad. I'm glad we did it last year, and I'm even more excited that we're, we're doing it again now. And I think one of the reasons we can do it now is you actually have the staff behind you to help <laughs> to, to help gather yeah. and, and, and put together all this information in, in a usable format. Let us know what you want to see us do with this as we continue to build out the database as folks contribute, and let us know if there are additional questions you think we should be asking as well. And uh, before you even think it, yes, there are going to be bad actors that put bad data into this. We have dedicated folks on the team that are going to be reviewing everything. We also learned that a year ago. So stand by. Please, please, please work with us as we're doing this. And uh, if you know someone who, who's also bought a car recently, please share this with them as well. And ask them to uh, ask them to put put in their information so that uh, because obviously the more information we have, the better it is for everyone. Oh, and we should probably mention CarEdge.com slash data. If you just go there, that'll take you to the page we'll put at the beginning of the show, uh, beginning of the episode man, beginning of the video as well, caredge.com slash data will take you right there. I can't wait.